2015's Nightcast. Lighting up the night sky. They have been captured on video from people right here and all across the Midwest. No one was expecting it, but a second meteor could be seen in the area last night, a day after another one lit up the sky. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Heather Heron. And I'm Brett Thomas. So what are the chances we could see another one soon? Well, News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts is live outside right now keeping watch for us. So Kelly, what are you seeing? Hi guys, it's such a clear night tonight that it's really a great night for a meteor to happen. But if I were to stand out here looking up, waiting for one to happen, I may be here for a while. Although these fireballs have become commonplace this week, the timing is truly random. Wouldn't you know, uh, the moment I put a time scale of 5 to to 15 years, zap, immediately uh, comes another one. Yesterday, Fort Wayne Astronomical Society Secretary Gene Stringer would have guessed it would have been another 5 to 15 years until we see another meteor like the one that shot through the area Tuesday night. But he knows one thing about this particular meteor now more than ever. You can't predict when the next one will be. It could be another one tomorrow night. A second meteor in just as many days could be seen last night in Indiana and Ohio. Stringer explains the type of meteor we're actually seeing is called a bolide or fireball. They usually explode in the atmosphere causing the very bright light. But why two back to back? These were maybe frag fragments uh, of the same device. Uh, part of something that had broken up. For Stringer and others in the astronomical field, living in a time where everything is caught on camera is exciting. It helps with research, but also helps get the general public interested in astronomy. We are interested in anything associated with astronomy that catches the eye of the public. Stringer did not see either of the meteors. It was kind of a right time, right place type situation. The Fort Wayne Astronomical Society will open its observatory in April. Visit Wayne.com for more information on that. Reporting live tonight, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.